Ramon Armandariz is our home plate umpire. Here's the first pitch. Misses up for ball one. We are underway. 3-1 pitch to the leadoff hitter Myers and misses away and Troy has the leadoff man on base. Is the aggressor, right? Who's going to put the guys in motion? Who's going to do what they need to do to create some runs? There's a knock up the middle for Kavanaugh. Trying to go first to third. Throw coming to third base and it is not in time. Good slide by Myers. Aggressive base running and Troy in business with second and third and nobody out. They're coming out there. They're ready to swing. So you've got to be able to get the all-speed pitch over. There's a live drive out into center field, and it should score two. Throw comes to the plate or toward the plate. It's cut off. That's a two-run single for the captain, Bartolero, and Troy strikes first here in the top of the first. This is the slider right here. He goes a little slider. You see it spinning. That just stays up. Bartolero, the head down on it. Love, that's a beautiful swing. One ball, two strikes. This one ripped out into right center field, a base hit for Sullivan. Bartolero going first to third. He'll stop there. It's a stand-up double for Sullivan. And that's four in a row that have reached safely for Troy to start this game. The ball a little bit. Now he's getting those fingers just a little bit more out in front of it. There is that first out. A swing and a miss. Cobb goes down, swinging first strike out of the game. And now maybe John West can take a breath. Wibbs can really roll. He pops this one into center field. Should be deep enough to get the run home. Bartolero tagging at third. Throw comes back in to the middle of the infield, so that'll keep the runner at second base. Sacrifice fly for Wibbs. Picks up his 22nd RBI of the year. He said, you can't see in the analytics, but on the swing you can. But he gets a swing and a miss right there, and as bad as it started, those two losses came in three weeks. This ball lifted out to left. Lewis going back. That ball off the top of the wall. It's a tall wall out in left field. Barry Walsh will cruise into second base with a stand-up double. How about the start there for Boston College trying to answer? Full count pitch coming to Peter Burns. He lifts it out into center field. Myers moving to his left. He'll make the catch. Tagging at second base. Barry Walsh. Throw comes all the way through, but not in time. And Boston College has a runner 90 feet away. On the ground, left side. That's off the chest of Bartolero. Tries to stay with it. Can't get it cleanly. That ball was hammered. It's going to be an E5. Scores a run. Boston College on the board. It's now 3-1. to one. Another full count. And Wang lays off and draws the walk. What a good at bat. And he gets a swing. Foul tip held on by the catcher, Stearns. First strike out of the game for Stewart, and that is a big one. Here's Sam McNulty, hits it sharply on the ground, past the diving Bartolero at third base. McNulty going to have extra bases as he cruises into second. A one-out stand-up double. One-two pitch lifted. That's cutting away from Myers, the center fielder. That ball is gone! Slipped over the top of the wall into the right field bullpen. Barry Walsh with his seventh home run of the year, and we are tied at three with the rain coming down in Tuscaloosa. Richard, it is not just coming down. The flags have picked up. It's blowing right into that right side, going across the field, right into that visiting bullpen. It's almost like Barry Walsh knew it. Look, fastball down away, stay on it. Use a little opposite field, drives that ball right there. Wind blows it out a little bit, possibly. Still going to be at least a double, but that ball picked up into the visiting bullpen. If he hits that ball to that spot in the first inning, there's no way it leaves the yard. But the wind helped push it out, and we now have beautiful, our first rain delay. They'll put the tarp on the field here in Tuscaloosa. He's 0 for 2 with a fly out and a strikeout swinging. He hits this one high in the air and deep to center field. Myers on the run. Ballpark not going to hold it. That one is over the monster for Joe Vetrano. Goes deep for the 19th time this season. On an 0-2 pitch, Vetrano goes deep. Well, Rich, you're right, 0-2, and I think he's trying to go fastball up. Hey, look, the ball, it flies all over the place here. Dead center, though, 390, it plays more like 405. So for that ball to just absolutely clear the monster, you can see, look, the bat, it's not a bat flip. Hoover, Alabama. 
Well, lined out into the left center field gap. Kyle Mock drives it all the way to the wall. He's headed to second. Will he think about three? No, going to stop there as the throw comes back into the infield. One out double for Troy. This one's hit sharply, and it's past the third baseman, weighing out into left field. Mock will have to stop at third base. He obviously froze on that ball. Now first and third for Troy. 3-1. Hit in the air to center field. Walsh going back on the run. That ball is gone. It's off the face of the batter's eye. And Troy is back in front. 12th home run of the year for Cole Myers. A three-run job for Myers gives Troy a two-run lead. They're up six to four. Richard, this is the leadoff guy. That's some pop from the leadoff spot. Again, the ball doesn't carry. It's flying right now to dead center. Matrano goes over it. Myers goes off of it. But he'll take off of it no matter what. This is a three-run jack, and that puts Troy up by two. This one hits Kavanaugh, shifting on Bartolero. He hits it high. He hits it deep to left field. That ball is way out of Sewell Thomas Stadium. And that's number 16 for Caleb Bartolero. Wow. File that one away in the no doubter category. It's now a four run lead for Troy, eight to four here in the top of the seventh inning. They put five on the board. Well, Richard, I mentioned this is a lineup that can come at you quick, and they are coming at you quick. That's the change up. Looks like the fourth boy, you see the spin. Hey, Coach Meade said Bartolero is a superstar, and we are witnessing it right here. God is going to attack the zone, trust in his own stuff. And on the hands for Wang, tough play. Sidearm throw to first, and that's off the mark. Sometimes with a sidearm pitch, you'll still see him throw it over the top to first base. But one, two from Manning. Leary hits this ball toward right field. That's in the gap, and that's going to go all the way to the wall. Nick Wang. Going to make a turn and stop at third base. So second and third with one out for Boston College. The Eagles have got something brewing here in the bottom of the seventh inning. Off the closer, Noah Manning for Troy. Full count pitch to Samini. Hops it up. Will that be deep enough to get home a run? Myers makes the grab. Tagging at third and coming home. Wang, now he's going to turn around and retreat. That throw was up the line. And that actually worked in Troy's favor. 2-2. Two -two. Ball lifted to left. Lewis is on the run. He's not going to get there. It stops at the base of the wall. Two runs come around to score. It's the third hit of the game for Sam McNulty. He drives in two runs. And we've got a two-run game. It's now 8-6. to six. You just mentioned it. The third hit, he's also been on base all four times. Little slider out front, you see. Hey, sometimes you keep the bat in the zone long enough. Just flick the hands. On oh, the two-run double from Sam McNulty. This ball lined the opposite way, but right at Bartolero at third base. We go to the eighth inning here in Tuscaloosa, game one of the Tuscaloosa Regional. The first pitch from Andrew Roman plunks Donovan Wibbs. The opposite way, that's a base hit for Clay Stearns, and it gets past the right fielder, Mercado. Wibbs around to score. He was hit by a pitch to start the inning, got a stolen base. And Troy gets one back. It's now a 9-6 game. Trojans in front by three. Boy, this lineup just won't give up. Pitching staff couldn't hold, you know, they uh, they held the lead, but gave up some runs, couldn't get that shut down inning. And... Full count pitch. Ground ball, that's a base hit. Back up the middle with the pull defense on. Coming around to score is Stearns. And it's back to a four-run lead for Troy. What an answer for the Trojans here in the top of the eighth inning. And pulled away late in that game, ended up winning at 12 to five. This ball hit hard to third, and it's handled by Wang for the third and final out of the inning. It's going to be 
Really a hit by pitch as Barry Walsh will head down to first and actually 159. This today was his 139th start. And he draws a four pitch walk. So a leadoff hit batter. And he hits this one high in the air, deep to center field. He did it again. That's the second time today that Vetrano has gone over the batter's eye. And we've got a one run game on a three run blast from Joe Vetrano. Boston College will not go away. Spike that helmet, big boy. Wow. Fourth multi home run game this year for Vetrano. Fifth time he's done it in his career. He goes back to back sliders. And again, this is, you saw him hit a fastball over the batter's eye. He goes slider over the batter's eye now. Mentioned in the, it, or in the open. Lots of opposite field popping. This dude's just staying through the ball. This ball hit high and deep to center field. Walsh is on the run. Walsh not going to get it. Ballpark won't hold it. Solo home run for Tremaine Cobb Jr. His ninth of the year, and that's a nice piece of insurance for Troy, now with a two-run lead. Richard, I promise you, been to a lot of games here. Haven't seen the ball fly out to dead center like it has today. We have seen four home runs to center field, two over the monster from Petrano, and two off the monster, or the center field batter's eye. Beautiful swing right there by Cobb, trying to get the fastball up. 88, not enough to get up. Cobb showing you how strong he is right there. First hit of the game for Tremaine Cobb, and it comes at a huge moment. Gives Troy a little more breathing room, who has the best ERA on the team, lasted only a third of an inning, and now it's been Zach Fruit. And this ball lifted to left, that's a base hit. And that will bring the tying run to the plate for Boston College here in the bottom of the ninth inning. It is a four-hit game for Sam McNulty. Root hitting 185 on the year. And he's hit in the back, and so now the winning run will come to the plate. And Walsh bunts it, and it's a good one, third base side. Fielded by Bartolero, throws to first, and he missed the bag. Sullivan couldn't get his feet. 1-1. One, one. Lifted to left. Lewis moving over at third. McNulty tags, he comes home. Throw cut off at third base. One run scores, it's a one run game. Patrick Roche looking for his first hit of the game, the 2-1. He hits it hard to the second baseman, nearly a double play. Oh, we got an intentional walk coming up. To load the We don't bases. get to see it. Wow, he's been on base two times. Back to second base, fielded by the second baseman. Gardner steps on the bag and Troy for the fourth time in program history, wins their regional opener as a three seed.